Hi guys, welcome back to Derby Kai. <coughs> uh, Monday, didn't get much chance to do any film on the weekend. Weather was absolutely horrendous the weekend. Heavy rain, high winds, everything else. Even today it's been raining. Um, but just, as you can see, just got in from work, I haven't even got changed yet. So, uh, thought I'd do my filters and everything else. Else? Else? Yes. <laughs> uh, filters and stuff. So, I want a quick look at the uh, fish. Uh, what I did, but the one thing I did do the weekend, uh, if you know, in so my last video, I put some Vercon aquatic tablets in. Um, so what I have done since last week, I've done a couple of water tests, um, just to see if it affected anywhere. I know a lot of people said it hasn't affected their filters, but it's been absolutely spot on. Um, so it hasn't affected any of the levels in the pond, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, looking at the Kajaka, which is one of the reasons I put it in to start with, it's only had the one double dose so far. And looking at the Kajaka, he is looking a lot better. I haven't had him out, um, but I have been looking, obviously, looking at him in the pond. And uh, there was a couple of raised scales that was part of the issue I had uh, that I'd noticed. Um, but he's looking absolutely fantastic at the moment. I can't see any raised scales or anything, so uh, hopefully. We'll get to the pond and have a look. And hopefully we might be able to catch him because they are a bit active today. Because temperatures have gone up a little bit. Um, I might even chuck a little bit of food in. We'll have to wait and see. So um, let's go and have a look at them. Okay, now we can catch them. That's the shagoi. Just underneath the shagoi. There he is, the kajako. As he scoots off right over there. It's gone wrong underneath the other end, but yeah, he's looking a lot better. They're all looking very, really good actually. And since I've put it in, to be honest, they have been quite a bit active. So I'm a, I think it may have uh, got their appetite up. I'm hoping he's going to come round again. There he is. Just popping around again. <clears throat> Not going to come over enough. There he is. Just going under there, but yeah, he's looking a hell of a lot better than he was. Uh, but they're all looking good to be honest, but yeah. Um, anyway, just clean my filters and my filter floss. You can see the start of that water. That's without being fed with the water. You can see, so they are still producing muck and there's crap coming off the side of the pond. And rear to there. But yeah, really pleased with them. And I think with the Vercon, I am going to put it in and um, give it just a standard dose at least once a month just to top it up, keep it in there and help any issues we've got and help to uh, we'll stop any issues as well. Sorry about that thing, that's just a moving in, that's the alarm in my garden, so somebody's moving around the pond and it's me. But yeah, all looking really good. And there's my boy, sitting guard. And your boy, eh? <laughs> so yeah. Right, let's get on with these filters. Yeah, just chuck a bit of food in. Uh, first time they've been fed in. Oh, I need to look, bro. Close to two, maybe three weeks, something like that. So they are coming up. Henry has just been round. And there's a gajaco just popping up. I'm going to spook him off and like that, where I am. <laughs> but yeah, so they are a bit active, so I thought I'd give them a little bit of food. And they seem to be having it, so jobs are good. Right, uh, all filters are done. Move back on the food. So, what I want to do now, my camera work. Um, we're going to have pop around the back and uh, a little update on the fry stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, I can't get everything I want to done, so um, I'm going to be done today and hopefully it's more tomorrow. But we'll pop around and have a quick look. Right, now back around here. Right, the fry setup. Got that one, obviously. Now, unfortunately, I, um, I was hoping I could get hold of another one. Somebody said they might have one, but unfortunately, they couldn't get one for me. So I've only got the one. I have been looking. For a more another one, uh, I don't obviously don't want to pay. But I can't afford to buy a new one. They're like 160, 170 quid something like that for a new one. So I have been looking at used ones, and unfortunately, the the only ones I can find seem to be absolutely miles away. Um, Grimsby, 
Kettering, Peterborough, and obviously it's quite a large <laughs> container. Um, so I'm hoping to find something local because obviously I need to get it collected and that is not going to fit in the car. Um, so yeah, I could use the obviously we've got a work access to works van, but I can't be traveling too far local won't be a problem, but I'm looking for one local to me. So I'm still looking out. And I think in the last one I might have said it's a thousand liters. I do apologize. It's not, I was thinking at the time I was thinking IBCs in my head. Um, cause I think if I can't get any more, I might have to go IBC route, but I'd prefer these ones. They look a bit better for me. I do like these. Um, that's why I said a thousand. This one I believe is a 610 liter, um, maximum capacity. So obviously with I won't go full, so it would be about I don't know, 550, 560, something like that, in the water level. And that's why I'd like two of them, that's equivalent then to more or less an IBC, a full IBC. That's why I want two of them, and I can isolate them. Um, and obviously IBCs are bigger than this, so I wouldn't fit two in here anyway. Even if I cut them down, I wouldn't fit, it'd be very difficult to get two in here. Um, so that's where I'm with that. One thing I have managed to get hold of, Not him, <laughs> but not him, but this. Got me easy pod. Uh, we've got a helicopter going or something going over. What is it? I can't see what I'm getting in. Hopefully it's not too loud. So, yeah, got an easy pod. Um, let me turn over a minute. Now it is pump fed, and there's some, and it's K1 micro and K3 in there at the moment come with that um, this is pump fed so I've got to convert it to gravity feed obviously that one they cutting off and putting a boot on but I'm hoping because obviously he didn't whoever had it didn't put a rubber boot on he's just siliconed it so I'm hoping he hasn't solvent molded that one because obviously that's the pipe whatever the, the pipe sticks out to about here I think so that pipe needs to be turned around and go back in the center piece so I've got the long piece out um, I'm hoping I can get that off without damaging the pipe underneath so I can get it back inside to convert it to gravity fed. Um, obviously I've got one for the waste and obviously I've got, I need something for there to cut off the uh, inlet when it's three inch. Uh, right, ordered some other bits and pieces but a couple of pieces have arrived. Firstly, I've ordered, I've gone for these rather than switch a box here. Um, I'm just going to run straight on these and to the three pin plug. I've actually got two of these, um, two sockets. So I think I'm going to need three plugs maybe, and it will always give me a spare one. So I've got two of these. I've got a really good price for these on eBay, to be honest. With postage, I think two of them is like 15 quid. So that's really good postage. But what I'm really happy about, um, right, as I said from this, I'm going to do a bottom drain. Uh, well, flange tank flange connector. I want to go three inch, um, give it a better flow. Now I was going to go. I was looking at the three inch um, black waste pipe. I believe that's the 82 mil. And as I said, what I want to do is I want to put one here, easy pod in the middle, and one here. So it, they're both going to come. One's going to come that way. One's going to feed that way to the easy pod in the middle here, and then up into the easy pod with a T piece. Now. Unfortunately, I can't find, well, I couldn't find an 82 mil um, plain T piece. They only do the swept, and that's going to give me an uneven flow. So, but what I have got, excuse the mess up here, I've got that there, some three inch pressure pipe, and I've got three three meter lengths, but I'm only going to use the one, so I'll probably end up selling the two pieces because I'm never going to need the three. But the one piece there, what I'm going to do, excuse my camera work again. So I'm doing exactly the same. Because it'll be 82 mil fl uh, flange connector on the tank with a three inch rubber boot, which I've actually got one of those in the shed. It does fit, it will fit into the three inch pressure pipe, which again will fit. Here, when it goes up into the easy pod, it's going to be a plain three inch pressure pipe T. Yes, they're about, unfortunately it's about 20 quid, but that's the only one I could get, as in um, the plain T and not swept. 
but obviously I want to isolate either tank the reason I decided to go to, for the pressure pipe rather than trying to search around for the other one was obviously I need gate valves and stuff now a 3 inch gate valve you're looking minimum 25 quid for the 82 mil but I did find these on eBay two 3 inch slide valves that will fit the 3 inch pressure pipe absolutely perfect with postage for the pair of them £13.50 so they are second hand but both unused he said they've just been sat in the garage brand spanking new been sat in his garage so I could not pass up that at all for, for a tenner there's actually £10 in the post of £3.50 for a tenner for the two I couldn't pass it up and I've saved obviously with the pressure pipe um, I've already got that so that saved me a bit of money yes I'm going to pay a little bit more for the T-piece I need um, but I'm, the money I've saved on these has more than pay for that T-piece um, unfortunately I am going to have to get one for here because obviously that's going to be the inlet I will need a, a valve on there I'll put a rubber boot and I want a 3 inch valve to shut it off completely for cleaning so I will have to get one more but that's where we are for now. As I said, I've only got the one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything up as if plumb this one in, but I'm also going to put all the pipe work ready to go into the other one. Um, and obviously with the gate valve and everything else, or I might, before I put the boot on, I might just put an end cap on and block it off. So at a later date, I can, if I, when I can get another one of these, all i got to do is drill the hole, put the flange connector in, and it's all done. Um, and obviously I'm going to have to have two showers or one shower here and one over on that one so yeah more to come for that so I just wanted to keep you updated on this with the bits I've got so far um, I have ordered a couple other bits today so they'll be coming hopefully soon and um, as soon as the flange connector comes I'm going to give this a good clean and get that one in and get all this obviously I said before I've got to trim all this back because it keeps dropping crap down here uh, that's where we are with that and what I was going to do the weekend is I want to put, want to put my bird box up and I'm actually going to put it up here for now. Um, nice and high, that's going to be a good and a 10, 12 foot high. Let's have a look where I was, 6. Yeah, about 11 foot, somewhere around there. Just up, up here on the corner, the apex. We do get a lot of birds around here, so I think that'll be out of the way um, for now and it would be a nice place and I can see it. And if at some point when I do a roof for this maybe I may move it to there but I think that might be a better place to be honest so yeah that's where we are at the moment so not much else I can do today now I'm going to park and clean this up um, hopefully I can get in tomorrow it ain't raining when I come home from work and I might try to get my bird box up so yeah and hopefully some other bits will arrive we'll have to wait and see so I shall catch you tomorrow ok guys it's uh, <coughs> Wednesday just going from work again. Um, won't be in long actually. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, weather is awful. Hopefully, it's not all over the, the camera. Um, right, a bit of an up down what I've done so far and what I've got. So, I'll spin you around and we'll show you where we are. Okay, it's up out the way. So, hopefully, we can get something in there. And again, Steve, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for that, mate. Um, again. If you haven't seen the channel, Steve from Cat and I, pop on over and say hello. Um, right, obviously, easy pod. Still looking for one of those, but when I had a delivery today, this is what I'm going to be using this flange tank connector thing as a bottom drain. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where to put it yet, but I'm going to cut out, obviously, cut this on the edge, grinding out and smoothing down. Uh, but it's going to go something like that. But what, I gotta th what I'm thinking of is this ground here's got a very gradual um, slope to let any water off. So I'm actually thinking, um, trying to think which way it goes now, the water. Um, it comes that way and slightly back towards the drain. So I'm thinking somewhere like that maybe, in that corner potentially, um, or even in the middle. I, ideally I'd like to go somewhere there but obviously with that um, I don't want to be cutting all that out 
because that's a bit of support. So I'm going to put it somewhere like that. Uh, with that, don't know whether I'm going to use the top section to flange between the two pieces of plastic, if you see what I mean, that piece in the middle, or if I just use the one piece, the bottom of the main most part, because this is plastic, and then use that as the flange so it'll be a bit smoother going in. I've seen lots of silica, lots of CT1 in there. I haven't decided on that yet. Um, but what it's going to be, I've obviously also got my elbow arrived, so that is going to be in there, wherever it is, coming out underneath. As you can see, I can take out, I'm going to cut that down a little bit to make it fit a bit, a bit closer up, give me, so I won't be as high. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be in about there, so it's not actually that much. Where are we? It's going to be about there, the base, I think. So, yeah, only a couple of inches, I can sort that out. And I've got my three inch straight boot, which is going on the easy part, which will go on there. So, yeah, so two of the flange connectors, obviously one for one the other tank. Uh, that's where we are. Obviously with this, obviously I don't want to leave it open, so I want to put some fine mesh across it. And uh, whether I'll sandwich it in the air or whatever I'm doing, I'll put some fine mesh to stop any of the uh, fire going down. But yeah, not much else happened, obviously with this weather. Hopefully this wind isn't affecting it too much. Um, it's been absolutely torrential rain, extremely high winds. So yeah, not great. Let me spin your background. Yeah, as I said, um, not great weather to be doing anything at the moment. Um, gonna, I think the wind's like 25 mile an hour last night. And I expected the same again tonight. And Friday could be even up to 30, 35 or higher where I am. And I know some other parts of the country are getting absolutely battered. So hopefully you're all safe. And I know it is putting a, you know, a halt to a lot of builds with this bad weather. Um, but yeah, but with mine, what I'm doing here, I can't do anything really until parts arrive. Um, maybe the weekend, I might decide I'm putting my uh, tank connector. Um, if, it, if it stays a little bit drier, um, I'm still not using power tools to grind that down yet. But if I can get that done the weekend, I will. I might even get that in place. And as I said, as soon as I get another one, I'll have that one done as well. And I may even try and convert, if the weather keeps off, uh, convert my easy pod to gravity fed. And hopefully I've got to get that pipe off. Hopefully it's going to come off. Uh, but yeah, not much else at the moment. So, uh, let's get out this round a little bit. What get on to do? Not a lot. So <laughs> I'm not really happy much. Uh, not much else happening, so yeah. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to pop over to see Steve, Cat and I. And uh, again... Bird box is lovely. Hopefully I can get some birds in it. Uh, yeah. Until the next one. Stay safe. Jobs are good.